So, who is Ron Paul? I like that question for several reasons. First off, it doesn't contain its own answer, so it makes the person think, why do I have this question being pushed at me? And obviously the person pushing the question knows that they're not providing the answer, so the person who reads this question is going to wonder why would the person who pushed this question at me not include the answer? It's kind of a curious thing to do. And there's no method suggested, there's no URL or a, a info source that you are directed to, so that suggests that it doesn't matter which info source you choose or which way you go about trying to answer the question. And that's very intriguing. It reminds me of 9-11. The morning of 9-11 I was in bed um, when the TV coverage started and I got a call from my dad and this was weird because he never calls when I'm asleep. Um, and I answered the phone and he said, turn on the TV. And this was doubly weird because First of all, my dad hates TV, so why would he tell me to turn it on? And I don't really like it either, so this doesn't make any sense that he's telling me to turn on the TV. And secondly, he didn't tell me what channel. So I knew whatever was the reason for me to turn on the TV must be something of major importance because evidently it's on every channel. <laughs> so that's why I like this question of who is Ron Paul. It reminds me of that experience, and that experience really got my attention. Even before I turned on the TV, I was I was wide awake by the time I got the remote control in my hand. Uh, either my next video or one pretty soon is going to be my answer to that question. And whatever you think the answer is that I'm going to give, you're probably wrong. <laughs>